All right. So Harvey writes in. He says, hi, Dave, Pete, and Adam. I'm attempting to copy text from my WordPress website and paste it into a document in pages. Every time I do it, it takes a while, and then everything pasted are in bold question marks, like in you know, 24 question marks in a row in boxes instead of the words that were copied. When I look at the format sidebar, it it is listed as a series of question marks in boxes as text uh, as text the font listed as dot last resort. By highlighting the whole question mark text and choosing a real font from the font menu, everything I copied shows up as it's supposed to. I'm doing this for a lot of files as I'm trying to make a pages document from all of the posts I've made this year. How do I stop this from occurring? I cannot locate a dot last resort uh, font anywhere on my computer to delete it uh, from font mapping. And it's only in the body of my writing that won't copy properly. Uh, so any thoughts causing this and a way to copy and paste without having to change every time would be helpful. Harvey. Yep. Harvey's not going to find the, the last resort font anywhere in his system, but it is there. And I, really? I learned this from his question because I was like, oh, what is this? This has got to be something special. So last resort is actually a special font in general. And I think it's on a lot of systems, but Apple has their own version. And you're not going to see it in font book. You're not going to see it anywhere because it's deep in the system. And I, 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 the dot last resort was a clue to me because you, you, I, oh, people may or may not know this on the Mac, right? If you have dot in a in a file name at the beginning of a file name on a Mac system, that means, you know, hide it. Um, but there's a great article over at Vice from 2020 that goes like deep into this if you want to know all about the last resort font. So you can go read that. We'll link to that. Um, but my guess is what's happening for his specific issue is Word in WordPress, he's probably using a very specific font that's probably not part of his system. So when last resort kicks in is like, it's the last resort. I can't find a replacement font. I don't know what this font is. I'm going to use this last resort font. And for the characters, it's just putting in this box with a question mark because that's what it maps to for whatever text he's pasting. So what I would do is rather than doing a regular paste into your pages document, do a... And so instead of command V for paste do the paste and match style command, which is command option shift and V, because that's going to force it to paste into pages with the currently selected font in your document. So if your document has Helvetica as the default body font, when you paste it, it will come in as Helvetica, not trying to use the font you know, from WordPress. Because my guess is it's trying to use the font from WordPress, which could be some weird web font. And... It's trying to match that styling, right? So you just need to tell it, no, use the styling from my document, not from the original text in the clipboard. So um, there was a discussion in uh, Discord about this this week. And uh, Harvey tried your idea and it didn't work. I, that's oh, wow. where I would have started too. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like it should work. Um but uh, he says, I tried doing that paste and match style. Nothing pasted at all. As of right now, all I can do is highlight, highlight the weirdly pasted text. And he says, I have a shortcut now that converts all highlighted text to the style with the font that I want. And um, he, uh, he went on. Some people mentioned using other things. Uh, Randy Walker in Discord suggested making a plain text document in like text edit or BB edit. And using that as the interim doc, mm -hmm. I, I use BB edit for this often because BB edit is basically Unicode only. Right. And so it has no font formatting at all. So paste into BB edit, highlight in BB edit, copy again. And now whatever's on the clipboard paste uh, into your pages document. And that should just be text with no styling whatsoever. My, favorite way to do these things because it skips the bb edit step my favorite way might not be faster but it feels more efficient is that um keyboard maestro comes with a series of like built-in macros that like pre-created macros and they have one called type clipboard which literally like at the point where your cursor is 
it types the text. It does not paste text in. It acts like its own keyboard and types the text. It is slow compared to pasting where pasting everything is dumped in at once. This is you see it slowly sort of methodically typing out. But I've had it work in scenarios like this where it's like, yep, we're just going to type the, the characters that are there. So that might might be another thing to try.